YouTube, it's your girl Paige Turner, and I'm back with this video! Oh, 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 alright y'all, we finna start this video off right and getting right into it. Y'all already know this is a Carmen's Click reaction to, I can't believe, like is this, is this like the fourth Carmen's Click video of season two? Are you serious? We that deep in already? Well, y'all already know we doing a reaction video. Before I get into this video, make sure you like. Like y'all like knowing what's up behind the scenes. Comment. Like y'all will. Will y'all tell me y'all own opinion and subscribe because we family now. And you want to join the lit crew. You feel me? Let's go. Hey, money, I can be your best dream. I appear in your best dream. If you haven't seen this episode, I would definitely say go run and watch this episode because it was crazy to say the least. We started off and we were in costumes that day. I'm not gonna lie. I'm not gonna lie. All of the girls had some pretty, pretty creative costumes. They came out the skirts with it. I ain't gonna lie. I like Veronica. She was the strong arm woman because that's not what you thought she was when you looked at her. You know what I mean? The cowboy from the cowboy to the pimp to the jester to the ghetto cheerleader to Mr. Brown to uh uh Bob's light ear. Huh? Sorry to this man. <laughs> Help me. Help me. Oh, that's his name. Buzz Lightyear. <laughs> I said Bob. <laughs> you thought Bob. <laughs> Who is Bob Lightyear? Anyway, Buzz Lightyear, all of the the costumes that they were giving. They were giving. Especially Twinkle Twinkle Little Star. Okay? So <laughs> we were in costumes, which is honestly fun and creative and a new way to um Go out there. Um, game over, too. I don't want to forget. Because she was a gamer girl. I thought that was pretty cool. A new way to look at it. You wouldn't expect a gamer girl outfit. So, they was we were having fun. Uh, the beginning of the video, I ain't gonna lie. It started off a little spicy. As well as giving. I think there's still some built under toy moil. If you know what I'm talking about. Uh, if you haven't seen that clip, here it is now. Look how walkie talkie has the the, the game what? over. Game over, yeah! Oh! It's about to be game over. For you. Oh, oh. Oh. We'll oh, see about yeah. that. We'll see. What, what? It's my ugly bitch hair. Oh, oh, oh. oh, well, at least it's my hair. All right, we'll Ooh. see. It's about to be game over. You had all that talk we do. Now, I'm not gonna lie. The cowardly lion is definitely not a coward no more. She came out swinging with the... Is y'all gonna fight or what? She was just playing, but it was pretty funny coming from the lion, okay? Everything in this episode was crazy from my personal, personal favorite performance that had me literally rolling for about five minutes. I have to give it to Twinkle Twinkle. <laughs> Little star, if y'all haven't seen that clip. <laughs> so what's uh, your after call? I'm supposed to be a star. Oh, like an actual star. star, like in the sky. Yes. A uh, star. Yes. Okay. All right, you ready to start? All right, you go ahead and do whatever you gotta do, baby. Okay. Twinkle, twinkle, little star. Do you know how great you are? <laughs> oh, Lord. Hello, girl. I don't know, but to me, on my team, you were giving, sis. Okay? <laughs> on my side, you were giving. <laughs> Coming up in number two for me, I'm not gonna lie, my second favorite performance had to be coming from Nayeli with the powerful words and encouragement. I feel like there's so many women out there who struggle with speaking up on this type of thing and just to see somebody go out there and do it in a creative way. Creative way. I don't know if y'all seen her belt, but the girl had it on there and all coming out with the boxing gloves. It was really cool to see a new spin on just being a boxer and doing some things like that. So I feel like that's definitely a clip worth saying and definitely a clip worth showing. Shout out to you, Nayeli girl, for bringing the positivity to a new video. My belt. I have to fight these battles. So I'm about to fight this battle, okay? Do you have me to be closer? Abuse, Abuse, suicide, suicide miscarriage, anxiety, mm -hmm. jealousy. All this, all this. Oh, oh, oh. 
great powerful words coming from a powerful woman i felt like that was definitely something that needed to be out there and shout out to you for being brave enough to do it okay so my next spot has to go to my third spot has to go to buzz okay buzz came out there jumping over people rolling on the ground she was like, I'm going to give it my all or I'm going to leave it at the altar. Okay, so we got to watch that because Buzz killed it in my personal opinion. So shout out to you, Buzz, for going out there and taking him to affinity and beyond. <laughs> <laughs> one of those and be like pew 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 all across the floor i'm telling y'all y'all don't want me y'all don't want me to get a toy story be, uh costume your girl finna be in these streets saving lives and falling when andy come i don't know who my andy gonna be but i'm gonna just fall every time i see people i swear they be like andy's coming that was pretty good that was, that was pretty good you can't cap you can't cap that was good that was good i ain't gonna i don't need y'all opinion i ain't gotta explain shit to y'all that was me i thought it was good okay <laughs> all right coming up in my fourth favorite position i'm not gonna lie this episode was crazy everybody did a very good job first of all let me say that everybody did a very good job these are just the people i thought was super freaking funny and came out there and was just like freaking hilarious i gotta give my fourth position to highlight because our pop out gonna be knocking that show dough okay like if she was a ghetto cheerleader with the kitty kitty cat okay she brought it she gave it she gave it all the attitude with her napkin pom-poms and left it on the ground for others to sweep up i thought it was so cool i thought it was definitely a creative outs insight on being a cheerleader Because you got me messed up. I ain't pay for these press songs for nothing. <laughs> All right, y'all. Well, that was definitely my top four performances for that freaking video. I thought those girls did a wonderful job. Everybody did a good job, but those was my personal favorite. So shout out to y'all for going out there and leaving your character on the floor and bringing a little fun to the video. Okay. On the other side of fun, where there is fun. There is always some mess, okay? If drama was a freaking person, she would be this video. y'all want me to get on here and be like it's something that it ain't but honestly in my true opinion i think it was just a lack of communication on top of a lack of not knowing a particular person if i'm being real i know y'all see the videos and y'all be like oh it's not that big of a deal and i'm not gonna tell anybody their opinion is either wrong or correct their emotion is either right or wrong because that's not i'm not the dictator of emotions i'm not gonna sit up here and tell you how you should feel or how you shouldn't feel and that's just me being real um so you might be right you might be right anything you're saying i'm sure you're right if you feel that you are right and you're like there's always two sides to a coin and you have to understand both sides. On one side, you have somebody who y'all probably seen at it, looked at it and was like somebody who's probably worked really hard to get a specific thing done. And for that to be interrupted was a little disappointed and they acted humanly. And then on the other side, you have somebody who's just defending their position and being like, okay, what this happened? And what? 
I know y'all looking into a screen and expecting girls to get along right away just because somebody told us that we're supposed to be in a position. And we are. We're working towards that. But I feel like it would be more fake for the click girls to automatically get along than for us to be human. I feel like everybody has a path they take to understand and learn the people around us. And I don't feel like me and uh, Lux has had that much of an opportunity to walk down that path yet. So, of course, if you don't walk down the path of understanding, guess what happens? Turmoil, problems, uh, confusion, interruption, a little bit of drama. And that's just because we don't know each other. She don't know me, I don't know her. We said that in the video. You know what I mean? We're slowly learning each other. What ticks each other's off. What makes each other laugh. What they like. What they don't like. It's going to take a minute. Link, think of Carmen Click as a new relationship. And with every new, boo, comes new problems. You feel me? So I feel like y'all expecting it to be something it isn't. But it's real. We're very, as y'all seen from all of the episodes, a very opinionated woman. With their own set away, and that's what set up all these women out from the different women. Our, our strong feelings and our strong emotion and our strong head. So you put a whole bunch of strong and powerful women in a room, what you think gonna happen? Firecrackers gonna eventually get the popping off. And we had a few 4th of July moments this episode. That's all it is, you feel me? But, you know, with every negative comes a positive and the positive out of this freaking video was definitely all of the performances all of the moments from the singing to the rapping uh if you seen i did dressed up as a jester they did say joker but i was a jester if you knew if you looked at the episode and you knew what it was baby shout out to you because i know you a theater geek and you can't hide it we in this together boo i ain't gotta hide it either we theater geeks together Thespians for life. You feel me? Like, if you knew what that was, you was definitely in some performances or you've just been in that world before. So I was a jester. And so, I mean, I guess her joke at the end wasn't, wasn't not accurate. She was, she was a selfie queen and I was a jester and jesters work for queens and kings. So shout out to you on the accuracy locks. I can't lie. But yeah, I feel like to expect an expectation for those who is not in position to give it to you yet is expecting ignorance. And if if you don't get that, take a moment. Tell me your opinion about everything. But I feel like within patience grows virtue. And these are a whole bunch of women who either did yesterday or didn't yesterday do YouTube. And now we do. And we're doing it together. So lock yourself in, strap yourself down, because this finna be a roller coaster ride until we figure out how we get to the end. All right? So if you made it this far, guess what? You made it to the end of this video. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. And make sure you hit that bell. So when I post a video, uh, you can tell. Make sure you hit that bell. Make sure you hit that bell, bell, bell. All right, y'all. It's Paige Turner, a.k.a. Set it off in his mug. Let go. Take it, take it.